guys, this is Suzanne with Sweet Tea and Whimsy. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope that you're here for another fun video. This will not be a very long video, but I wanted to spend a few minutes with you to show you what I recently completed, which is a junk journal. So if you would like to see what this completed junk journal looks like, stay tuned, guys. So, yeah, this is my completed. Oh, first, before we get started, I want you guys to look at this adorable pendant banner. It is mason jars full of sweet tea and lemon. That was given to me by my sister-in-law, and I absolutely love it, and so I knew that you would enjoy seeing it today as well. So, yes, this is my junk journal. It's the only one that I've ever made, and... I guess I'm really proud of it because I tried to make one that wasn't following anyone else's rules or instructions. So this one is very simple. It's not too elaborate, but it was so much fun making this and I need to get started using it and perhaps even make another one. So I'm gonna uh, take the ribbon off so that you can see more closely what it looks like. What I did to begin with is I went to the service center, the thrift store, and I found an old book. And this book had this pretty green binder. It was a hardback book, and it was actually entitled, Let Me Tell You, which I really liked the title of that anyway, so I chose to let the title show. I did not cover it up. You can see that I did decoupage um, some paper here and add some uh, washi tape. And then what I did is I actually painted and decoupaged the front and the back side of the junk journal. So I'll show you a little bit more closely what we've got here. I um, had some scrap paper that I cut out the pretty little flowers. Um, the book that I actually took the pages out of had this pretty little uh, illustration in it, and I love it because it's almost like a picture of a mom who is, I guess, trying to be a superhero. She has her purse, her sword, her umbrella, her jewelry, her eyeglasses, and um, a warrior's hat on her head. So I thought that was really cute, and I put this down here and said the real me. I decoupaged all this on here and I even added a bunch of little tiny beads and decoupaged over those. So it gives it a lot of texture and I really like the front of this junk journal. It's nothing special, but it kind of illustrates me. And on the back side of the junk journal, I took and tea washed a page from a hymnal and the song that I chose is what a friend we have in Jesus and this here is some more of the um, oh goodness what am I trying to say guys <laughs> here's some more pretty paper I'm gonna call it pretty paper here's some more of the pretty paper and some washi tape and across here is some more washi tape. And after I put the washi tape on, I even um, decoupaged on top of it. So this is the back side of the junk journal, and this is the front side. I attached these pretty little ribbons dangling from the side and added some pretty little charms. Let me show you these charms. The first one is this cute little pink tub that's full of bubbles. And here we have a pretty little lady who's all dressed up in her bikini or her lingerie. A pretty little white telephone. Um, I even have some old timey sponge rollers and there's a little dangly heart. 
And so I thought that just made for a real fun collection of book danglers for the journal and I thought that was very whimsical and it kind of went with the whimsical theme that I was trying to get when I thought how I wanted this junk journal to be. I kind of really just wanted it to be very whimsical. So I think that these um, charms really add to that look. So you can see on the inside of my journal, I have a lot of different textures and kinds of papers. So when you open up the junk journal, I'll try to get to some of the first pages. One thing that I really liked about the hardback book that I purchased from the thrift store, the one that was called Let Me Tell You, is on the inside already of the hardback book. It had this beautiful illustration which goes along with the illustration here on the front of the book. So the front and the back have these real pretty illustrations and as you can tell that's kind of where I got my color theme on what I wanted uh, to follow through without throughout the whole journal so um, here's a couple of pages in my journal that you might enjoy looking at uh, this is just some tea stained paper that I literally just ripped I didn't want anything to be real clean and and smooth and, and uh, streamlined so I wanted everything to look very natural and I really had fun tea staining um, these old papers. So I just glued an old button on that page. And on this page, I put a piece of washi tape and some real pretty vintage ribbon. There's the button on the first page. There's the second page. And on the third page, I have the tea stained paper and I have a uh, God of grace and God of glory. And I put some Rick rack on it. And here's a real thin onion. Uh, this is really what it is, is a uh, gift wrap tissue. I tea stained it and put it in here. There's some more tea stained paper. And in here, I put some washi tape down the center. And here's another illustration that actually came from the book. And it said, I just like the binding, that's all. <laughs> and I thought, oh, how appropriate for my junk journal. <laughs> so here is some more washi tape, holding some more pages together. And here is a dolly that I added to my page here. And I clipped on this old vintage uh, card. And here on this page, I inserted it so that I could lay the pages out so that I could continue writing and drawing and bullet pointing on even more pages. Here's some more tea stained pages. And here's some more really pretty washi tape that looks antique and you can see the tea stained pages, how pretty they are. And um, here's a little sticker that said, even the hairs of your head are all numbered, Luke 12, seven. And on this side, it says, stand tall in your faith. Here's some more washi tape down the center. And here is an old, um, just an envelope that came in the mail that I tea stained and I added some really pretty washi tape down the side and I in put it into the journal so that the top of the envelope is open and you can insert notes or list or whatever you wanna store in there. Here's some more pretty washi tape and some tissue paper. Some more pages from the hymnal that have been tea stained. Look at this beautiful tea staining. I just love the look of tea stained paper. Here's some more vintage Rick Rack that I added. A piece of torn washi tape.
Here's some more old envelopes and pages to write on. Here's one that um, folds out and it's got some really pretty antique washi tape. And in here, I also added a ribbon so that if I'm working on something and I wanna keep my spot in the journal, I can do that. I took some um, pages from my children's work um, high school notebook that they had at the end of the school year. And I, I tea stained those and put those in here because I can write on the back of that. Here's another page in the journal that folds out. Some additional pages. On this page, I took a piece of um, lace and I glued it here in the corner and added these pretty buttons. Here's some more pages that fold out. Here's some more. And this is a really pretty bookmark that I uh, tea stained and added a pretty piece of vintage lace and a button and I clipped it up here with a tiny um, clothes pin and I added some more pretty lace there on the side. So what is so much fun about a junk journal is that you can make it look any way you want it to be, give it any kind of feel. Um, I really wanted this one to kind of be vintage looking. And as I flip through some of these pages, I'll show you in a moment um, what you can do with a junk journal. Here's a card that I inserted that I really thought was a very pretty card that I can write in. And here's one that has a little pocket where you can insert um, note cards or list. There's a pretty piece of tissue that folds over. Look at these pretty vintage laces that I added to these pages. Here's some more pages that open up. Some very pretty washi tape. Oh, this one here, I failed to show you. It, it actually opens up into a wide piece of paper and it looks like this on this side. And then here's some more tissue and another little pocket to insert things. So that's kind of what my um, junk journal looks like. And I didn't make it too thick because once I finish my junk journal, it's going to grow and it's going to be much thicker than this. So this is my junk journal. Now, what do you do with a junk journal? Um, what I did was I actually took all these papers and I actually sewed them with a needle and some thread through this binder. And that's actually what holds it all together. So you can see how these little bundles of paper fit into this hard book cover. So what I plan to use my journal for is I've thought of several different things, um, but I think what I'm going to use it for is just um, a thought journal. Um, I'm going to uh, lay this beside my chair with um, a pen and some maybe a few markers or colored pencils. And when I have thoughts, uh, maybe ideas on what I want to uh, share with you on my channel, I can just go in here and bullet point list 
if I hear a, a quote that I would like to remember or a Bible scripture, I can write it down and reference it here. If I get a pretty note card from a friend, I can put it in here. If my children say something silly that I want to remember, I can jot it down in here. Snapshots that we take throughout the year, I can clip them in here. Uh, this is a catch-all journal. It's really just a place that I will write my thoughts, uh, maybe my feelings, quotes, uh, inspirational, ideas that I have, anything that I can think of that might mean something to me uh, or, or help me in the future as far as planning and ideas, I will jot down and insert and pack in and draw pictures and make bullet lists, those kinds of things. So this is my junk journal. Um, there's not much to it. It was a lot of fun. It was a little bit time consuming. It wasn't something that I sat down in one day and completed. And um, I almost don't wanna write in it now because I just love the look and the feel of it. But I think that once I actually put pen to paper, I'm really gonna have a good time jotting down my thoughts and storing um, important uh, memorable little tidbits of information in here. So this is my junk journal, guys, and I hope that you enjoyed uh, getting a little glimpse of it today. In the comments below, if you will, let me know if you have a junk journal and what you use your junk journal for, or if you would like me to take the time on a series and actually walk through the process of how I make a junk journal and how I put the uh, binding and the inside papers together. I would be glad to share that with you. But yes, give me your thoughts uh, below in the comments. And guys, I hope you have a good afternoon, a great week, and we'll see you next time.